Welcome to the Sidra Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the Sidra Intersection software user interface. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Now let's begin. When the program is loaded, the main window will open with an empty project named Project 1 by default. If you are new to the program, the user interface will be blocked until a valid license has been activated. Sidra Intersection can model both left-hand and right-hand traffic conditions. A Sidra Intersection project consists of sites, networks, and routes. All sites, networks, and routes of a project are stored in a single project file. Extension SIP9 is used for Sidra Intersection 9 project files. The Sidra Intersection 9 user interface is made up of several sections. Across the top of the window, there is the Quick Access Toolbar. This can be used for quick access to some file and process commands. The ribbon underneath the title bar contains the main tab groups of the program. The ribbon commands and contents of the project pane will change as you navigate between the site, network, tools, manage, and licensing tabs. Below the ribbon, there is the project pane on the left and the display pane on the right. Output reports and displays will open in the display pane. Tabbed displays can be grouped vertically or horizontally by right-clicking the display tabs. You can resize the project pane horizontally or its sections vertically as you wish. At the top right-hand corner of the user interface, you will find icons to access the user guide, glossary, and help system. The status bar at the bottom of the user interface displays messages about the current operational state of the program on the left and the license information on the right. Let's now have a look at the properties of each tab in the user interface. Clicking the File tab in the ribbon will open a drop-down menu. This contains commands for project file handling. Here you will find the Batch Conversion tool to import older project files into version 9, Software Info, including the software license information, update options, and project file information, User Guide, Sidra Glossary, and Help System links. Special Output to PDF function for printing output reports and displays in PDF format. The Site tab includes easy-to-use commands for creating and working with sites in a project. The Site tab ribbon consists of Site, Add New Site, Site Functions, Site Folders, and Data Summary Command Groups. Various site commands and site properties can also be accessed by right-clicking individual sites in the project pane. The project pane under the Site tab is divided into several sections. The Sites section displays all sites in the current project. Individual sites can be easily managed under Folders. The Site Input section displays the input dialogs for the selected site. Using these input dialogs, you will configure site geometry and specify all other site data. The Site Output link in the bottom section of the project pane opens help text about accessing site output commands. Output reports and displays are accessed using commands under the Site Reports and Site Displays tabs, which appear as part of the top Site tab. The Network tab allows you to create and configure networks and routes. 
The network command ribbon consists of network, network setup, root setup, functions, network folders, and network data summary command groups. The project pane under the network tab is divided into several sections. Project pane view will change depending on whether you're working with a network or root. The Networks section displays all networks and routes in the current project. These can be managed under folders. The Network Input section displays the input dialogs for the selected network. The Sites and CCGs in Network section displays the sites and common control groups included in the selected network. Under the Site tab, the sites included in the selected network will be marked with the network symbol next to their names. The Root Input section displays the input dialogs for the selected route. The Sites and CCGs on Root section displays the sites and common control groups included in the selected route. Ribbon tabs for Network Output, Root Output, Network Site Reports, Network Site Displays appear at the top of the screen. The Tools tab includes Input Comparison, Output Comparison, Project, Category Setup, and User Report Setup command groups. The Input Comparison commands are available for comparing input data for two sites and for comparing input data for two networks. Input comparisons can be done for sites and networks in the current project or in two different projects. Similarly, output comparison commands are available for comparing the output data for two sites. These can be single sites or network sites. You can also compare output for two networks using a whole network or by routes. and two routes from selected networks. Output comparisons can be done for sites, networks, and routes in the current project or in two different projects. The Project Summary command is used for summarizing results across many sites, networks, or routes according to the user-specified site or network categories. This allows for comparison of alternative scenarios in a flexible way. In Sidra Intersection, categories can be assigned to sites and networks. Category Setup group in the Tools command ribbon enables you to manage, import, and export categories. The Manage command will open the Category Setup dialog. Here you will find the existing user categories. Add Category, Move Up, Move Down, Delete Category functions and ability to edit category names are available. The Import and Export functions allow sharing of category setups. The User Report Setup command gives the user the ability to configure user report templates for sites, networks, and routes. The import and export functions allow sharing of user report templates. Once you have defined a new template, it will become available in the user reports command groups under the site reports, network output, Root Output, and Network Site Reports tabs. The Manage tab includes Manage Output, User Interface Options, and Manage Software Setup command groups. In the Customize Output dialog, 
you can specify the elements you want to appear in site, network, and route reports and displays. The Displays command allows you to select parameters to appear in output dialogs for approach, lane, and movement displays. Using the Site Output dialog, you can configure the tables to appear in the detailed output report and specify the format of volume displays. You can use the Graphs Display menu to choose parameters to be displayed and the Output Parameters menu to select the output information in the Variable Run, Multiple Sequence Analysis, and Project Summary reports. The Interface and Layout commands in the User Interface Options group give you options for setting up general aspects of the user interface, output reports and displays, and the layout pictures. The Manage Software Setup group includes a drop-down list for selecting the software setup relevant to your local conditions, as determined by the traffic rule, measurement units, and the default system for input and traffic model parameters. You can edit parameters in the default system to customize a user setup. The Export and Import commands allow you to manage your user setups. The Licensing tab is used to manage the different types of SIDRA Intersection software licenses. In the main ribbon, you will find the License Type Options, Activate and Deactivate Command Button for One PC Licenses, and Button for Specifying the Custom License File Location. This has been a quick tour of the SIDRA Intersection 9 user interface. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, and Help system in the software, or by viewing our YouTube tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.